Hi guys, today we're going to cook a traditional Zimbabwean dish, maguru or beef tripe. So we're going to start by putting the cut beef tripe into a pot where we're going to boil it. And as you notice in Australia, the beef tripe is bleached, so it looks a bit white. It's usually brown in color. And I usually like to add some onions, carrots, and also sauce so the onions and the carrots are just to add a bit of flavor and also some curry powder and that just adds some flavor while i'm boiling the meat because it does take a long time to boil i think this particular dish took about almost two hours to boil so i added a couple of kettles of water These are the ingredients I'm going to be adding to my um, sauce, some onions, some green and red capsicum and some tomato. Once the meat is cooked, I'm just going to scoop out the vegetables, I'm going to take out the carrots, I've already taken out the onions. So you can see that the water does have a bit of colour to it and that's from the carrots so all the flavor has gone into the meat which is what I wanted so I'll just scoop that out and get the meat ready to cook and once I've scooped out those carrots the next thing that I'll do is to just uh, take the meat out and put it in a separate bowl so that I can use the same pot that I used to boil the meat to cook the sauce because I believe that you know the meat leaves a lot of flavor in that pot <laughs> just might be my thing but I just believe that you know don't waste the flavor that's been left in the pot so I always try and use the same pot to cook the sauce Now it's time to cook the sauce so I've just added some olive oil and waited for that to heat up a bit and now I am adding the onions and I'm just gonna saute those in the pot and the brown stuff is just like from the flavor from the meat that it left behind so I just kind of put those in the sauce as well and then after that I'll add my tomato and mix it in with the onions and I will wait for that to cook through To add flavor to the sauce, I'll also add some sweet paprika. So I'll add just about a teaspoon of that. And I also add some curry powder. And about a teaspoon of that as well. So I mix all that through to make sure that it all goes into the sauce and I just mix it together and I'll also add a bit of water to just help all those ingredients marry together very well and to help the tomato um, cook through and make the sauce a little bit richer.
Once the sauce is cooked, I'm going to add the tripe back into the sauce with that bit of water that I had left in it. And I'll mix that together. And I do the sauce separately so that I don't um, mash up the tripe. I want to keep it, you know, solid and intact. So that's why I cook the sauce separately. So after that, I just mix um, my maguru into the sauce and make sure that, you know, all um, the flavors are going in there and everything is all mixed up together. And I do leave that to simmer for a while. And once that has um, simmered through, I add my green and red capsicum. I add that last because I want the capsicum flavor to really come through in the sauce. And the best thing to, to make that happen is to add the capsicum right at the end. So I mix in my capsicum um, with my meat in the sauce. And I just let that simmer for a little bit, not too long because I don't want my capsicum to become mushy. So I just let that simmer for a little while. I add a little bit of water as well just to um, add more sauce and to make sure that you know everything is mixing well together. And let that simmer through until it is cooked. And those are all the ingredients that we need to make our beef tripe or maguru. And that's our finished product, maguru in a vegetable sauce, and it's all ready to serve. So I served this dish with some sadza and some vegetables, and you can see the way I plated it is like the traditional plating back in the day. They used to put all their like their meat separate from their veggies and their sadza, and they would usually eat in groups. So that's how I plated my dish today. I hope you enjoyed that recipe.